One, two, three. All right. All right. Hey everybody, Emmy Pellegrino here. Doug is Arden here, certified voice teacher, certified student. <laughs> so we're back for our third review video and on our first video, the most request, the most requested video for us to review was Mark Martell's version of Bohemian Rhapsody, his one take video. I'm very excited to watch it because he repressed the hell out of me the first time, so I'm ready to do it again. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Cool <laughs> Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just a poor boy. I need no. Freddie Vowels. Poor boy. Poor. Is that poor? It's poor. <laughs> I love it. He's perfect. Sympathy, cause I'm physical. Physical. So many vocals going on, so we did this one, obviously. Murder. I can play piano like that. I'll say that again. So I watched another video of him. He was explaining how to sing like Freddie Mercury. It was on his the Queen cover band that he's in, their channel. Um, and he was saying something like, if you hold your nose a little bit, kind of give yourself sounding like a cold, you know, that works. And then I watched another voice teacher review that video and he was like, I don't know what that's all about. So what he's talking about is nasal resonance. It involves a soft palate, you know, all this back here. And if you lower that, it gives you this kind of cold sound, but it makes it very easy to hit those notes up there. Not that these are high notes, but it's another way to use that. It's another way to open the throat. And it's just a technique to use to sound like somebody like Freddie Mercury. You know what I'm saying? We talk about that in lessons. What are you doing? Open the throat. This is another way. <laughs> we talk about that in lessons, right? Nasal resonance. <laughs> Not to be confused with twang, of course. Twang is up here. Nasal resonance is back here. Both help for the same thing, but both get different sounds, you know? Oh, I have a question. Yes. <clears throat> so, tonsils without tonsils, is there a difference? I guess it depends on how well this person did your surgery. <laughs> if they didn't eck up your throat or not, you know? They cut a piece of my they cut your tonsils? sack thing. Oh, your uh, uvula? Interesting. Why would they cut a piece of your uvula? Yeah, I don't know. Can I no, see? I wow, it's gone! Whoa! His uvula! I'm gonna insert a picture of that. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, so... The only thing I can think of is if they take your tonsils out or, or you know, they remove part of your uvula is that you'll have more space in your mouth. I mean, I don't see it, that it could be a bad thing. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not sure. And I've never come across that in a student before, you know, before their tonsils and after their tonsils kind of thing. So I don't know. Good question. Good question. Yes. Mama. Mama. He did that with his mouth. It was just... Just a way to close off the note. Very cool. Just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama, life had just begun. Did it again. Nothing really matters. He's doing a lot of cool things with his mouth. Tomorrow! To like, just give him these different sounds. And that's, that's cool. Too late. My time has come. Sent shivers down my spine. Body's aching all the time. Goodbye. What? Wow. 
love this ballad list. Rocket boy. Out of this part. His face. I see a little silhouette of a mask. Got a moose. Got a moose. Will you do the bandango? Thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Galileo. Galileo. It would've been funny if he went up. Ah! Hold on. I want to hear him go up again. Very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo Figaro. Nice. Nice. Galileo Figaro. It was very heady and very. Mmm. He went. He went a little twangy. He went a little twangy, and that's helpful with that kind of voice. Galileo Figaro. Very nice. He loves me. He's just a poor boy from the poor family. Spare him his life from this monstrosity. Cool. Easy come, easy go. Will you let me go, Bismillah? No, we yeah. will not let you go. Let him go, Bismillah. <laughs> we will not let you go. Let him go, Bismillah. We... If there was somebody in the world that like didn't know this song and they were like his roommate and they heard him doing this, they'd be like, dude, think you have multiple personality disorder. <laughs> That's great. I love this song. Did it with the piano instead of singing it? No, 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 mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. That breath support, though, to get through all these different things in one take. We're should get the high note. For me! It's alright. He's not a robot. A little bit of neck strain there. Now, in that video I watched to him that I spoke about earlier, he did say that he is not vocally trained and that he just copies him audibly. Neck strain is bound to happen. Strain is bound to happen when you're just trying to copy somebody that sings rock just by hearing them. So watch again, when he says die. Little bit, little bit. He's not gonna die. Just, just no, just gotta get out. Just no. Just gotta get right out of here. Get him, Mark. He's actually working. I'm up to here. He's like, if I fuck up now after the whole song, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Once again, perfect amount of air in that falsetto. He's like, I did it! He's like, that was the one. Yep. <laughs> what a what an angel. All right, final thoughts from you. Me. Keep an eyelash hanging off your eyelashes and sort of look in your eye. Got it. Make a wish. Oh. oh that's where we're <laughs> Okay. Final thoughts. My thoughts. Thoughts. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> what, besides the fact that he sounds like Freddy, what do you like about his singing? What do you think makes him special or a good singer? You know what? What would you Ready? Tell me. His falsetos. Falsetos? And his vibratos. And his vibratos. <laughs> no, wait, I said that right. You did. Vibrato. Vibratos. Vibratos. Uh, no, no. Throw back to the first video. <laughs> Um, he, you can be tired after singing that song. I've sang it live before by myself, so 
I'm not, he's not the only one. Um, and that, that's a tiring song to sing. But I did it on an acoustic guitar, so I didn't have like all like the little trills, so I had to sing every guitar song. <laughs> it was a... Uh, it was... <laughs> It was a fun show. <laughs> Ray Mercury of Queen, otherwise known as Abby Pellegrino! <laughs> He's just, he's naturally really, really great, and he's a really, really great imitator, and I love his own voice too, because I have perused through some of his regular videos, and he just, he sings beautifully, and I heard him mention in that video as well, you know, oh, maybe because my face looks like this, I have the same, you know, resonating spaces as Freddy. Could happen. I don't know when this guy was born. If he was born when Freddy died, then I'm sure it's just Freddy back again. Um, Incarnation. But I, I have no complaints about him. The, I wish that he would go get a, a lesson or two just to learn how to get around that strain. You know, find an easier way to do it because I don't want him to be tired after his shows ever. Freddie ended up with vocal nodes. I think that was partly correlated to, I mean, people did a lot of drugs back then. Rock stars drank a lot. He did get sick. All that stuff can lead to those kind of injuries, but I'm sure him, you know, screaming every night at shows didn't help. I would love him to have perfect vocal health and you know, try to get away from that strain and that neck tension. I didn't hear any tongue tension, so that's good. Wonderful job, Mark Martell, as usual. If you guys have any comments about Mark Martell, have any requests about other videos you want me to uh, review next, uh, I got a few comments the last few videos also um, on who to do next, and I'm pretty sure I know who it is, so we'll see. Billy. You'll see. And if you guys ever want me to review your vocals, let me know, and I'll give you an email, and we can... I can review those as well in another video. Sound good? Sound good? Mm -hmm. Alright everybody. Rock on. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. You oh, know this is gonna yeah. be tomorrow because Valentine's Day is already over. Today's Valentine's Day. So happy belated Valentine's Day for you guys. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye everybody. Bye.